Hi, I'm John Hayden and the author of Facebook Marketing for Dummies. Facebook is absolutely essential to a, mar to a marketing plan really for, I think, almost every company because you have this incredible social network that's now over 800 million people. And these are, it's not just people that signed up once and they're taking off. They are sticking around. They're there from, from between a half an hour and three hours a day on average. So it's a very active community. These are where people are connecting and sharing their lives with each other. Okay? So to be a marketer, to be part of that, I think is really important. What are some first steps for marketers? What should they be doing on first Facebook first? Uh, first thing is really to, to create a Facebook page, which is the um, tool for businesses. It's not a profile, but it's a page that's supposed to represent a business. So that's the first thing. The second thing would be to think about what your message is as a business. What are we going to offer that's really compelling and unique on Facebook that we don't offer anywhere else? We don't have it on our website, on our blog, anywhere else, but it's only on Facebook, and that gives Facebook users a reason to engage with your page. And what you can do is, um, with a Facebook page, which is really the central piece, the central tool that marketers use on Facebook, they can interact with customers, get feedback, uh, do um, product development, you know, what kind of products do you guys want, learn about the customers, um, they can generate word of mouth a, a lot on Facebook. So what's new on Facebook that's in the third edition? Um, first of all, you have a completely new analytical tool. It's Facebook Insights completely revamped, all new um, measurements like reach, what they call virality, like measuring how viral something is on Facebook. You can actually measure that on your Facebook page. So what are some of the must-dos that a marketer, really all marketers should be doing? Um, <clears throat> not, don't self-promote, okay? Don't self-promote, don't focus on promoting. This, we have this product here, buy this, buy this, buy this. The best thing to do is to really seek to understand your customer or your prospect. What do these guys really want? What's gonna get them talking? To understand that, and that continually put that on your Facebook page. You know, uh, you should be updating a Facebook page, you know, one, two, three, four times a day, perhaps, and then, you know, start with that and then measure and see how that's working. But it should be, con it's a continuous discussion, a continuous dialogue that's really happening with the Facebook page. That's how marketers should, that's one thing they should always be doing. I bet you a lot of marketers that already have a Facebook page, a lot of them aren't using ads. They should use Facebook ads, specifically the sponsored stories, which has this social aspect to it where you know you can display an ad that will have, oh, you look at the ad and it shows your friends who've already liked the page or who are already commenting on the story, and then that Facebook user can engage with that content directly in the ad. They don't have to go to the page. So I think taking an advantage of ads. The other thing, as I mentioned, the other thing is the subscribe button on a profile to add a more personal connection to your uh, customers and prospects. The typical reader of the book will be uh, the smart marketer that already have experience and they are, they are starting out on Facebook and they're really wanting to do things right. Two new things with Facebook that are actually helping marketers at this point is the news feed. So the news feed actually has this hybrid aspect to it with a ticker and what companies are finding is that they're getting, although a, lower, a slightly lower exposure, they're getting a lot more engagement on the content that they're putting out there. The other thing is that the insights tool, the analytics tool, gets a lot more actionable. It gives you a lot more actionable data. We can see who are you reaching? What's the demographic of the people that you're reaching? What's the demographic of the people that are actually taking action? That, those are two totally different things, and you can now see that in insights, the difference between people spreading your content and viewing it. Who are these people? And you can get to know who they are.